Did you ever sit down and think, I want to have my phone in my computer? I didn't. I thought, I have my phone, I have my laptop or PC, everything is synced and up to date whenever I need it, they're all separate devices, and they have their boundaries. Now, all of that is changed with the Your Phone app in Windows 10. Now, I know this has been around for a while, but not many people know of it, and it recently got a boost. What it does is it lets you use your phone without actually touching it. You wirelessly access and mirror your Android phone from the comfort of your PC. So you can read and send messages. It doesn't matter which app you're using, which is a productivity boost for me because I'm much faster typing with a keyboard than using my thumbs. Another great benefit. Let's say you just took some photos with your phone, go to your PC and just drag and drop them into other office apps and start using them in, for example, PowerPoint, Word, or OneNote. Let me show you. Getting started with the app is easy. On your PC, launch the Your Phone app from the Start menu by typing in Your Phone. It should already be preloaded on most Windows 10 PCs. But if it's not, you can download it for free from the Microsoft Store. The first time you use it, you'll get prompted to create a link between your computer and your phone. You can technically also connect your iPhone with this app, but due to Apple's restrictions, the functionality becomes so limited that there is essentially no point using it. So we'll go with Android and click on continue. Next step is to download the Your Phone Companion link to Windows app on your mobile. You can easily download it from the Google Play Store. Once installed, launch the app and you'll be prompted to sign in with your Microsoft account. On newer Samsung phones, the app will be natively pre-installed and all you have to do is drop down the quick panel. Then click on Link to Windows, which is going to open the app. Select Link your phone and PC. Now sign in with the same Microsoft account you use on your PC. To finalize the connection to the computer, it's going to ask you to enter a code and to confirm some permissions so you can use all of its features. Once this is out of the way, you can start using the app. On the left, you'll see the app menu. Depending on your phone model, you'll see all of these or just some of the apps. The first one is notifications. This syncs your phone's notifications to your PC. You can clear a notification by clicking the X on the side here. When you clear notifications from here, it will also clear them from your phone. But depending on the type of notification, you get more options. Here I have a notification from an Outlook email, which I can archive or delete. Or I can even reply directly from here. Just click on reply and it's going to open the Outlook app in a separate window. I can type a quick response and send the message. Or if it's an Outlook invite, I can use accept, tentative, or decline. I better accept that one or I'm going to be in trouble. You can restrict the apps you want to receive notifications from so that you don't get overwhelmed by all of these ding-dongs. Just click on customize and choose the apps. Messages is one of my favorites. You can send responses and see incoming text messages directly from your PC. To respond, just click on messages and type the text in the message box below. If you like, you can also add emojis or GIFs. This is a real time saver for me because I'm so much faster typing on a keyboard. I can quickly respond to the message and return to my other tasks. Two things to remember. The app will only show you text messages you received or sent within the last 30 days. And it's not possible to delete messages directly in the app. You can only do that on the phone. Next app is Photos. This gives you instant access to up to 2000 photos on your phone. This is convenient in many ways. You can directly open your photo, edit it if you like, and then save a copy. The original photo on your phone will remain unchanged. Just drag and drop photos from your phone into a folder on your computer or drag and drop it into an office document and immediately start to use it. You can also easily share a photo with a right click and then share. 
I also like that I can delete a picture on the phone right here from the app. I can review the pictures I took and delete what I don't need right away. This helps me keep my camera roll on my phone clean. Now we come to the part that was recently added to the app. You can now run multiple Android apps on your PC. Let's see how this works. When you click on apps, it will show you all apps you've installed on your phone. You can scroll through the entire list. This is a separate favorite section up here. So any app you use often, just right click and select add to favorites. And it's gonna show up here. Now, when you click on an app, let's use Fitbit, it's gonna open a new window. This will essentially mirror the app from your mobile device to your PC, which means you can use it like you would on your phone, but you don't need to install the app on your PC and you also don't need to sign in again. And you're not limited to just one app. So let's say I wanna open the Galaxy Store. I just click on it and it opens a new window for it. But the best part of this feature is that you can create shortcuts for quick and easy access. So you can pin the apps you use most often to start or your taskbar. Just right click on it and select pin and confirm. So now when I just want to write a quick message in WhatsApp, I just need to click the icon here and it's gonna open the app window. And I can quickly respond to a message in the app with my keyboard without having to take out my phone or logging into WhatsApp for the web. I think this is a nice addition to the app. At the moment, it's exclusive to Samsung devices, but hopefully Microsoft will make it available also to other Android devices in the future. And finally, there is Calls, which allows you to make and receive calls on your PC. This requires an active Bluetooth connection to your phone. Now, I don't use this as often, but you can also access your recent call history or decline incoming calls from your PC. One last tip. By default, the Your Phone app uses Wi-Fi to sync notifications, messages, and photos. But in the settings on your phone, you can enable mobile data as well. In the Quick Settings panel, select Link to Windows and click on Details. Turn on Use Mobile Data. So that was a quick overview about the Your Phone app in Windows 10. Give it a try and let me know what you think in the comments. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed to this channel, consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.